Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Grand Arena. I have Gus here for about five seconds uh, to help me scout my opponent, Chaos Sid, 1982. For PDA, he's an RH Invisible Sun. Okay, there you go. Got almost 9.8 million, so I'm actually in the lead by a couple hundred thousand. But he does have a lot of stuff, and he's got some stuff I don't have. So he has Aphra at R8. Definitely kind of a concern. And Zorid, uh, which is definitely a concern. No Omicron on her, but she still causes quite a bit of havoc on her own. Uh, every Galactic Legend. And he's got plenty of Datacrons, uh, as many as you need to have like R8s or level 8s, level 9s on every character. So it should be a pretty good match. As far as his defenses, he does have a similar um, strategy as me, where he goes kind of light on the Galactic Legends, but still a pretty heavy defense. And I checked his history a lot, and it seems like he places kind of the same thing every round, this 3v3. So I'm trying out my predictive skills to see if uh, I predicted exactly what he needed, or what he was going to set. The only thing that's changed so far is he has old Ben lead with that, with a Hondo instead of Dash. Which is a little bit easier to handle. We're on the stop always got Malgus. A, uh, what would look like a Starkiller team except Malik. A uh, Starkiller team with First Order. A Ray team with Sorty. Um, so I'm glad I keep Ray to handle other Rays because it's probably the best bet. And on the bottom, we got a tough wall. We got Zori with both fins. And I'm probably actually going to use Lord Vader on that. I don't want to chance it. And my prediction is that there's no Galactic Legends on the back wall. Um, now, whether I win or not could come down to whether my predictions are correct. And this Darth Revan, you know, I would use my own Darth Revan, which I brought on offense, but he is way faster. Um, so I don't think that would work out well. Even if I have Malak, uh, they're going to get first and they're going to fear everyone. Basil Sean Fallen's going to fear too. Uh, and this is a pretty fast Basil Sean Fallen. So I hate it again, but I'm probably going to use Galactic Legend on this. Probably Sith Eternal Emperor. Um, and that leaves Darth Revan open for the CLS. Um, I thought about trying Aiden or Treya, but I'm probably not going to do that. Then JMK for Jabba. And Dash Han Chewy for this Afro team. That's actually what I'm going to go at first. Um, and I've been thinking through this. I just, if this works, it could make a lot of things fall into place. Otherwise, I'd have to use Kylo Ren, which you don't want to use. And here's the data card I'm using, the 100% turn meter on basic, uh, the level 3 doesn't matter. I got a little crit damage to help, but the thought is to get like 8 hits on Aphra. Um, Han goes, stuns her, gets another turn, hits her again, Chewie assists, he gets another turn, and goes again. So, I'm kind of nervous about this, they do have a lot of survivability on the Aphra, and it's pretty decently tanky, honestly. Um, yes, yeah, so 100,000 protection. But in the history, someone did this successfully, so here goes. Uh, a little nervous about this. Uh, but if it works, it should work fast. So, one, boom, boom. Again. And not quite. Uh. I'm going to use this and I'll get 100% turn meter. Okay, good. So she's out. Stun him. Get him out. Okay, so she survived the initial onslaught. But I still was able to recover. Which is fantastic. 466 banners. Only dropped one. So that is a fantastic start to my predictions. Next one up is Jabba, easy call, um, revive prevention. I wish I had Aphra uh, locked and loaded. I'm kind of close to unlocking her, but I don't have her. It's going to stop all that turn meter. The ability block is something that could be an issue, but I don't think it'll be like a defeating issue. Uh, so let's go. Hopefully, Java doesn't ability block her right away. Oh, she dodged 
both. I think that kind of like bailed me out. Yeah, so he's ability blocked. Yeah, they're gonna keep him ability blocked. A dispel. Nice, so he gets his turn. Okay, good. He's the one taking the ability block. Nice. Okay, perfect. Uh, and he's actually not a scoundrel, so I'm not going to be getting ability blocked by Java. Mm. I don't know why I didn't reset the cooldowns on Ahsoka instead. But it's all... Uh, it's kind of a moot point, it doesn't really matter. Back to Kenobi. Uh, not there yet. Uh, dang it. Ah, oh, that stole a banner. Okay, well. Uh, that's fine. I guess, I hope. Uh, and then CLS, I'm gonna use Darth Revan. Oh, by the way, uh, my predictions for what the back is, is Grand Inquisitor, Radis, Maul, Mon Mothma, and General Grievous. If any of those are wrong, then he switched it up, and the plan I put in place before I even um, tried to... Uh, see what he actually said on defense, then it is all incorrect. Uh, so let's do... Probably just need the basic one. Um, all I need is the level 3. And I think they got a lot of armor penetration. Yeah, good armor penetration, tenacity, health. Um, I'd rather see this one than the Retribution. I think Retribution is a little scarier. And if uh, the last match I had, they didn't have Retribution, I probably could have won that with Dash on Chewie. So fear him, probably won't land, yeah that's what I thought. I wanted that double tap because I knew he would um, get the stagger. Hmm. Let me try this out. Oh. There he's gone. Off. Please give me shock and just want to finish it. Okay, 54. Yeah, it's not great, but I wouldn't trust Ida in there. All right, next up we got a true Sith Eternal Emperor solo on Darth Revan. Uh, they're not super, not super relic up. It's just that they're like really fast and stuff. And Savage. It's kind of hard to take on his own. Um, a consideration I thought of was Grand Quizzer here, but I need that up north. And another consideration, which I talked about, was Darth Revan. But they outspeed me, which is kind of a problem. So, pretty much got to mark him and Darth Revan. Not mark, Link. So 
just like a circle. Hmm. This is kind of weird. Well. Good. I was a little antsy there. I was like, am I going to get stuck in a loop again and they knock all my health down all the way? But this is working out. <sighs> As it should with a Galactic Legend counter. Drop the banner there. Oh no, it can't as well. So 58. And then for Zori, um, I considered using Giant Knight Revan, Giant Knight Luke and I think Bastil or something. But in the end, I'm pretty nervous. And if I'm right about what's in the back, um, I don't need a Galactic Legend there. And again, that prediction is Grand Inquisitor, Radis, Maul, Mon Mothma, and General Grievous. Um, so let's get a tank. Revive, not that one. this I don't know if this is like overkill but uh I don't think we're gonna need it otherwise so now let's just do that and the Zoricron I've never come across it but retribution is kind of nasty and the iron penetration is kind of crazy so I do not want to chance it with Jedi Revan let's do it last step before the back wall Starting out some days. Just fracture you to begin with. I don't know, like, I should start using the ability. Yeah, this team is already seeming pretty OP. I'd be very nervous about it with a non-galactic legend. She's ability blocked, which is good. Yeah, this team is like crazy. Or like just the survivability. I like I feel like I have to get to ult. To get anywhere. I shot it, shoot it, sorry. This is gonna be pretty good for banners, for sure. He's getting to his ult. They're cleansing constantly. There we go. Get someone, yeah, nice. Damage and immunity would be annoying. She's going down. There we go. Perfect banners and no Galactic Legends. Come on. What do we see? Perfect. Oh, but it is different. There's Boba Fett. Okay, so I only got three of these right. Boba Fett's different and Bam is different, but I don't think that's a big problem. So that's great. I have three, two more Galactic Legends at my disposal. Uh, so should be able to make it work. Okay, now that we have all uh, ground zones in sight, time to make my move onto the top wall. First, take care of the most challenging opponents, and I'm gonna go with Ray first, because this is definitely most challenging. Um, I haven't lost yet Ray vs. Ray, but that is not any kind of guarantee. Uh, so the Crit Avoid. I want, do I want the Crit Avoid? No, the Stagger Stun, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, so I'll take this, get some Arm Penetration, which is not really helping except for Ray's basic. 
Health is helping, potency is helping a little bit, maybe? Um, but it's gonna be annoying, Ben's gonna be VIP a lot, so I'm gonna have to take out Sortie. And we got great health there, some great armor, so... Let's do it! Just as long as I keep her above half health... I'm gonna go at Sortie first anyway. Should I give this to the Ray? Give it a shot. Nope. Ah, oh, that sucks. I might end up just killing her with Ben going under the threshold. Yeah, there we go. That's actually pretty great. Basic. No wind. Nope. No wind. Uh. Another wall wind. Okay. Ah, uh, mine is protected, man. It's like whirlwind on whirlwind. Okay. Uh. Ugh. Oh, Shiki. I always forget that he's gonna come back when it's when it's time for it to benefit me. Okay, 50. I mean, that's crap banners, but that's a tricky raid team. Uh, Sortie is definitely a tricky one. Um, so this Grand Inquisitor. I think I've done this before. Um, and I like this. I like when it's a character specific level 9 because that's like the only organizational tool I have his face is on it and I can just pick it um, the rest of it you just gotta guess you can't label them or anything we're gonna get turn meter uh, stats aren't super huge they do have some extra health our jade shouldn't be too difficult to kill that yet. They can't fear me. You can't fear me. I'm not use that yet. Oh yeah, there's the train. I actually don't... Uh, okay. yeah, I was gonna say, I don't want him to go under a threshold because then he could... Um, Take the life out of Seven Sister. I cost myself banners there doing that. Am I gonna get to another one of those? I don't think I will. Either he's gonna triple attack or. Okay, actually, that's good. Now I can do this triple attack and kill him. Okay, great. 57. Excellent. 
Uh, next step up is bounty hunters here. The best thing I have available for like stats is this. And like I'm somewhat skeptical about how it works in practice. I'm gonna have tank revive and the bonus turn and some extra defense. Um hopefully I have enough survivability to get through. They just have the cooldown reset, which you know it's better than ability block, I think. So here goes nothing. I mean, if it doesn't work, this isn't like, like, I didn't need bounty hunters for anywhere else, but I really do hope it works first time. And it's... That Ben is weakest, I think. At least it's not Hondo's weakest. And he taunted, which is good. Heal up. I'll just go ahead and do this. I think I'll come around to another turn soon. All its contract. Oh good, I can target him. Awesome. Okay, that worked very, 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 very well, and kind of lucky, because I could see it going sideways easily. If that outmaneuver is up at the wrong time, then it's just bad news. Get some extra healing at the last second with grief. Perfect, 57. <sighs> And Star Killer v Star Killer. There it is. I want one of the turn meter ones. That's for Imperial Troopers. Just, do I only need the one? Hmm, let me see. Package. Okay, I think I'm fine using this. Uh, this one, they, I think they got a lot of defense. It's gonna tank revive tons of defense. So I need to get, just start working on um, Star Killer instead of Crew, uh, which I, I can do pretty easily. I can get the shock out there and dispel on Crew. Oh, I don't like the counter attack. Uh, no sense trying to trigger or stun because I don't want you cleansing. Okay, good. Hit that stagger. It's not counterattacking, which is good. There's one. Get around to my specials. He's getting close to his too. He is down for the count. Let's pull it. Probably kill him once. Or no, not even. I uh, still gotta go through him one more time. Stun doesn't work here. Uh, good thing we got days. Don't have any annoying counter attacks coming. And there we go. Perfect. 57. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, just need Supreme Layer Kylo for that. And. The best way to do it is probably Night Sisters. Yeah, so I'll just do Night Sisters with them. Right. You and you. As far as the Datacron, let's just sort of my health, maybe. 
That's a uh, pretty good one. Uh, can I use that anywhere else? No, so this is probably, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and use this one just for the extra stats. And what's here? The tank revive. Um, if I kill him with Slicker, which I think is the only way I'm going to be able to kill him, it, it'll won't matter. So let's do it. Horse can't stun. The siphon the boss. Advantage of the stun. Nice. Pokemon. Almost done. Uh, he's not too much damage. Fifty four. Okay, I did get the full protection. Uh, but someone dropped bone health. That sucks. Now, he should probably, based on my scattering report, he didn't set profundity or executor. So I actually set both of mine on it. Actually, so um, if he did set them, I still could potentially be. Yeah, this is what I thought. Um, so I'm gonna be using some Empire fleets, malevolence, and probably Radis versus Radis, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I got some different types of fleets coming up, but I want to restart blue stacks first. Alright, so this is the first battle I'm doing. I'm doing Malevolence versus Executrix. Uh, it's got like an 89% success rate, but I don't know. There's probably Scythe in the back there, and I don't know how that could mess it up. But uh, let's... let's see here. I think I can still win it. Um, I have some... I have some cleanup fleets too, if if need be. I, I would like to one shot, but I feel better. It's it's kind of interesting. It's kind of a first for me putting both profundity and executor on defense. I'm almost better prepared to face. Okay, well he didn't get the foresight on Tie Fighter, which is good. Almost more pre prepared to face profundity and executor myself. So, don't dodge, he dodged, okay. Let's get some assists. Okay, good. Get some assists, that's good too. I'm actually gonna do this because I don't want to mark Tie Fighter. Okay. Uh, okay. Now I wanna bring in someone else. Take them out. And they're gonna get some turn meter. Uh, come on, take them out. Nice, okay. One down, 68 bad banners. Maybe it would just be better to keep all offense, but I want to do something different. Uh, so that's taken care of. And now for Malevolence. I'm gonna use Executrix. Um, actually, I might want to use Chimera. Okay, because I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna go with this. It's not what the, it's not necessarily what like the analytics says is the best chance of winning, but I think it's probably the most enjoyable, and I think it will win still. Anyway, if done right, which I plan on doing it right. Uh, so start out giving myself the turn meter with the foresight on this guy. 
Okay, so there got the dodge, and then I'll bring in this guy. This girl. Stun you. Some more turn meter. Okay, finally, Sun Fact is gone. Okay, got a dodge, got some turn meter. Uh, let's do this. Go get the ultimate soon. There we go. Oh, perfect. Okay, heal up Vader, he needs it. And this is the real Vulture Droid, and then a little bit more. There we got it. Sweet. 70. Um, now that leaves the question, do I want a mirror here? Or do I want to do Executrix? And I gotta check on that. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and use Executrix uh, with Kind of the same lineup I'd use against Profundity. I got some extra reinforcements. Um, hope I don't need them, but I can see it being like, oh, I got stalled out a little bit and I just need a couple extra characters. So, better safe than sorry there. Hopefully they don't take out Scythe super fast. And I think I want to just go ahead and do this anyway to get protection up. Yeah, definitely. That's good. I don't really want any taunts. Okay, perfect. I can dispel all of this. Did they have ability block? No. Okay. Perfecto. There we go. It's gonna be some big hits now. Don't kill him. Well, it'd be big hits if I had characters that could hit it all. Emperor Shuttle should have a pretty big hit. Yeah, non crit, 100,000. Nice. Haven't even seen Ray's Falcon yet. Here it comes. Yep, there it is. Uh, heal it yourself. Don't want to taunt. Stop him all. going quite well. Still not through the... Yeah, there's no sense using that. Gosh. What's your dodge chance? There we go. 72. I uh, lost two banners, so I really didn't need those reinforcements, didn't use any reinforcements, honestly. I hope I don't lose by a couple banners, because uh, that would be a little embarrassing based on that. Uh, but the job is not done. Still got some stuff back here. Uh, starting with malls, probably the most scary. Uh, and I have Trey left, so I don't want to try Imperial Troopers anymore. I think they could do it, but I am tired of giving them the chance. Uh, turn meter. No, that's for Imperial Troopers. Do I need just stats? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, this is probably 
fine. There's, I probably like the health more than anything. And they got that, the ability block, turn meter. Yeah, like I, I would not trust troopers. Load me up with protection up. Survived. That's good. Okay, she just died. Thank you for volunteering. Okay. I'll take that. No annihilate needed. I'm probably gonna get the annihilate here. Yep, there we go. Very nice. 54. Uh, and then. Head. Padme for this. So I want Padme, Ahsoka, and GK. Let's put him there, and then there's Ahsoka. I want like the the recovery. Oh, that's such a weak one. A giant Revan one. Uh, I still have protection. So what stats am I actually getting here? Potency doesn't really matter. Health helps. Armor, armor penetration. I'll go ahead and use this to try and go for the banners. Um, they don't have... Yeah, that's like... Okay. I want some stuff. Actually, them having a lot of health helps me. Because of courage. So let's do this. Take them out. Okay, nice. That's pretty great, actually. Almost. Perfect. 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 Fifty seven. Awesome. Oh, okay, and just three left, and just wanna, I think I wanna use Imperial Troopers on Boba, JKR on Grievous, I'm not sure, Giant Revan on Rannis, I need to think. Okay, so I changed my mind, I'm actually gonna use Giant Revan on Rannis, I think Giant Knight Luke is safer against General Grievous and has some problems against Rannis without the right characters. Uh, they have just a little bit of stats spread out, and I got a pretty good one with the resistance penetration armor health. Uh, this isn't really going to come into play, but the health and resistance penetration will. I've done this plenty of times. It's great banners, and it usually is pretty safe. So yeah, they're going to go. And I swap to Bastila. Get the buffs to Master Yoda. He spreads. And then we mark. Uh, I don't see any sense using that special. 
Now I can try to remove Terminator. It did not work. Let's get rid of the buffs. Try to cycle back through the turns. It's gonna force it anyway, so. Build block? Nice. Okay, that's actually looking good. Take care of you so you don't bring them back. And now we just try to get some banners back. Don't want to clear that buff actually. I kind of need that buff. Let's protect everyone. Now I can... Okay, there we go. Awesome. 57. Ah, uh, now Imperial Troopers heard this. I don't think... Honestly, I'm just kind of jumping in without studying it a whole lot. They do have Terminator and they have that Datacron, which could be annoying. I just hope I get the jump and then just keep it. Okay. I don't even know who the weakest is on their side. Probably IG. Oh no, it's Sam. Actually, it's perfect. Um, IG-88 is absolutely target number one. actually kind of annoying. Still banners. 55. Oh, I got one back. Uh. Okay. Last one. General Grievous. Uh, so if there's Jedi I have left. Who's third? Maybe Joe Lee. Yeah. I think Jolie would be solid. Armor, armor, vegetation, health. I'll go with this one. And it has ability block and then the turn meter. I think the tank revive is way better. Here it gives him an extra like shot at everyone. Uh, go ahead with this. Stun out. Gets one hit. He's almost down. Yeah, I wish I had an AOE here. I'm just gonna do that. Heal him up. Okay, what's the final tally? Oh, we got... 2052. Okay. Uh, 29 years in the future. Uh, pretty good. Pretty happy with that. From his history, he's not a super high scorer a lot. So I hope he does get tripped up somewhere. And again, he had the similar strategy to me. He did put a Galactic Legend on the front down here. But my hope is to catch people either trying to go too weak and save stuff for Galactic Legends in the back, or um, we're just commit to use a Galactic Legend and then maybe have trouble later. Uh, but I want them to try to do it without a Galactic Legend and then trip up. And in the back I have Johnny Master Luke, because after I did all my predictions, I figured I didn't need him, and I was right. I mean, I'm glad I set him. That's at least 
Two Galactic Legends on defense. A lot of these are staples. I wish I had Zori here. That would be so much better. I'm farming her now, but it's going to be a while. Now, I guess this team, I don't know. It's new. I have it, so I just set it. But what I'm really glad about is I got through ships in one shot, and I have just a tough ship, uh, ship wall. Uh, so that's another opportunity where it's realistic that he could mess up. Anyway, I got a long drive tomorrow. There's 19 hours left in the attack phase. I'll be back later with the results. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for the results. Um, obviously, it went well for me. Uh, 1600, 2052, and obviously I'm in a different setting. Uh, one where you can see Gus a little bit better. Uh, but the predictions worked out pretty well. You know, it wasn't 100% um, what I expected to see. But I set everything that I thought I did not need. That would be pretty good. And he got past the front wall without a, without a hiccup. But I really think he had spent too much because he wasn't able to get through everything else cleanly. Uh, he got through the back wall pretty clean. One battle each. Uh, but on the top is really where he started to slip up. Um, on this wall he dropped Battle to Raddus, and I think at that point he mostly gave up. Uh, he came back later, had to take two tries to get down Grievous, which is awesome, I love to see it. But Chips is really where he just decided to stop trying after he dropped a battle to Profundity. Uh, and as pretty much my first time uh, placing Profundity, I'm very happy with that outcome. Uh, didn't get to see how he did on Executor or Negotiator, but that really helped secure the win and a pretty comfortable win at that. And I don't blame him for not attacking again after that. Still six minutes left in the match, so you know maybe you could log on and do something. But uh, this is a, a win in the books. It comes from uh, this one is really due to my opponent setting mostly the exact same defense every time, and that is not a good recipe because you can predict it and know exactly how to counter it. Um, obviously, some matches weren't super clean. I mean, I 2052, I've gotten much higher than that with one shots and everything before. But really happy how it turned out, and if I didn't know exactly um, the kind of back wall he'd set, I wouldn't have felt comfortable using Lord Vader on the Zori team, or using a Galactic Legend on this uh, Darth Revan team, and I might have dropped the battle there. Um, Afro went very well. Uh, but I really like this match, and I only got one more. Uh, I'm 6-2 on the season. Hopefully I end 7-2.